Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. So they want to know what is the quotient when we're dividing this polynomial that'll be our dividend. We'll label that. That's what we're starting with. And the dividend is divided by bum, 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 this right here. This is our divisor. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we've, we want to do our long division to figure this out. So we've got 10x cubed minus 3x squared minus 7x plus 3. And we want to divide by 2x minus 1. So when we do this division, we're looking at the leading terms. We want to say how many times does 2x go into 10x cubed? Let's think about that. Well, 10x cubed divided by 2x, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and x cubed divided by x is x squared. Now we take that 5x squared and we multiply it by 2x and negative 1. We want to find out what the remainder is. So we've got our 10x cubed, right? 5x squared times 2x is 10x cubed, minus 1 times 5x squared is minus 5x squared. And we're subtracting all of that from our dividend to see what the remainder is. This is 0. And then negative 3x squared minus negative 5x is plus 5x squared. It's going to be 2x squared. Then I'm going to bring down my minus 7x and repeat the process. I want to say how many times does 2x go into 2x squared? And that's going to be, well, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And x squared divided by x is just x. Multiply the x by divisor and see what's left over. We get x times 2x is 2x squared, and then x times negative 1 is negative x. We subtract to see what the remainder is, if there is any. The first two terms should always cancel to 0. Then we get negative 7x minus negative x, so negative 7x plus x is negative 6x. And bring down a 3. And finally, 2x goes into negative 6x. Well, Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and x divided by x is just 1. So we take negative 3 and multiply by 2x minus 1. We get negative 6x. Let's undo that. Do I have an undo button? I don't seem to. I could definitely use an undo button here. So negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x, and negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. We subtract, and finally there's no remainder. So right here, this is our quotient, 5x squared plus x minus 3. And you can see that that is right here in choice 4. All right, I hope that helped.